In this week's news, we have some bad stuff from Tesla. We've got some brand new electric cars and much more coming on this episode. So Tesla this week have come under a lot of fire because in their cars, their steering wheel has been falling off. The Tesla Model Y is officially under investigation by the authorities. I believe this is mainly in America. I don't believe there's been any cases of this in the UK at the moment. Basically, the story is a family just picked up their brand new Tesla Model Y and on the way home, the steering wheel literally fell off. And there has been other instances, I believe, where the steering wheel has fallen off. Obviously, this is definitely not good for Tesla. This is a big, big problem. If you own a Tesla Model Y, you definitely might want to go and get that checked. We don't really want anyone's steering wheel falling off, to be brutally honest, because it's very, very dangerous. So yeah, definitely go get checked out. Volkswagen have released their cheap electric car. They beat Tesla to it. They've released the ID3 All, or the ID2 All. This is selling for approximately 25,000 euros. I'll do the pound conversion on the screen right now. This car will be groundbreaking for the EV community, in my opinion. It's a cheap, affordable electric car, and it doesn't actually look too bad, in my opinion. Now, more and more places are bringing out ULEZ compliance. So in London, they're expanding the ULEZ zone in Oxford and other cities around the country because places like this are expanding their ULEZ area or are creating a ULEZ area, more and more people are going to need an affordable electric car. So this car, in my opinion, is going to be very, very good for the market. This will be going into production in 2026, so it's not an instantaneous resolution to the problem. It will make a very, very big difference. I imagine quite a lot of manufacturers will try and compete with this car, but because it's the first of its kind, I think it's going to do very well. As we're all aware, car tax is going up for everybody. Some people are exempt from paying. If you are disabled and if you own an electric car at the moment, you will not have to pay for car tax. If you also have a historic vehicle, anything before 1982, you do not have to pay road tax for, which is pretty good because if you're into your old classic cars, then that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing that you got going there. Going into a little bit light-hearted stuff, there has been a Subaru that's been fitted with a Ferrari engine, which I thought was quite cool this week. A real rally stage car which is quite funny um, because you wouldn't have thought that a Ferrari engine would have gone into a rally car. Ferraris are very prestigious, exotic, quite expensive. Rally cars get destroyed and shit all the time so could you imagine replacing the parts on that. Coming into more money related topics this week, it has been said that fuel duty is remaining frozen which is very good for all of us big engined small fuel tank cars. I don't want to be paying all that fuel price to be honest because it's a lot of fucking shit. We are saving 5p per litre because of this freeze, which is very, very good. Also, they are putting 200 million pounds into pothole repairs. Now, I don't know what it's like where you live, but around my area where I'm from, potholes are an absolute fucking nightmare. I have to dodge potholes in this car more than I have hot dinners. Honestly, every time I go to work, whoop, dodging potholes, 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 potholes. What is the road tax for? The road tax is literally for things like this. It's for me paying for potholes to be repaired. It's for me paying for these roads to be repaired. The increase in road tax, what's that gonna go towards? Because it, it better fucking be potholes. The increase, in, see, I wouldn't mind paying a little bit of extra money if I could get all these potholes sorted. But you just know that our greedy, greedy government just aren't actually going to put that money to good use and put it to the roads. They're probably going to put it in their own pockets. But discussing the government, that's for a different video, for a different channel on a different day. This is automotive stuff. And these are all the big things that have happened this week. These are all the things that have happened this week. If you want this series to carry on for weeks to come, this will be an added video to my weekly videos. This video will be uploaded hopefully every Monday. So if you want to see this series, make sure you hit that like button. If we hit 10 likes on this video, I know you guys want to see this series. Anyway, that's been the news for this week. I've been me, you've been you, and I'll see you in the fucking next one.